Disney lied to you. If Finding Nemo were accurate, Marlin would have turned into Nemo's mom halfway through the movie. Welcome to the wild love life of the clownfish, where gender is more flexible than a yoga instructor. These cute little orange fish live in tight families, ruled by one powerful female, basically a sea matriarch in stripes. Here's the biological plot twist. All clownfish are born male. When the dominant female dies, the top-ranking male undergoes a complete transformation. Hormones, organs, behavior, and becomes the new queen. It's less finding Nemo, more finding yourself. Scientists call it sequential hermaphroditism. We call it underwater office politics. The moment the female is gone, the second-in-command instantly promotes himself, and then herself. Somewhere in Pixar headquarters, an animator just screamed. This gender flip happens through complex hormonal control. Testosterone drops, estrogen surges, and within weeks, the body remodels itself. Nature doesn't care about your social norms. It just wants efficient parenting. And in this case, Marlin literally becomes Mama Nemo. Imagine the deleted scene. Nemo asking, Dad? And Marlin answering, It's Mom now, sweetie. Suddenly, finding Nemo becomes finding identity. So next time you see a clownfish, remember, beneath that cute smile is a soap opera of hormones, power struggles, and unexpected glow-ups. Disney gave you a family movie. Biology gave you a gender revolution.